Hi, this is Elizabeth with Engedi Grove, and I'm going to show you how to sex a duckling. This is an outdoor cat, by the way. Hmm. Um, I'm going to show you how to sex a duckling, and I'm uh, going to also show you three ways that we have brooded ducklings for ourselves this year. There are many ways to brood a duck, but I'm going to show you three ways that work for us. Thanks, and please subscribe so you can see more videos. I wonder what I'm going to find in my greenhouse. Oh, a peaceful little child. Are you enjoying yourself? Yeah. Are they eating out of your hand? Yes. How many do you have in your lap? Many more. They just crawl out and come here. <laughs> Is this peaceful, Darian? Especially my ducky. Which and one's my, your ducky? Uh, that one. Oh, yeah. And this one and that one. Oh. And don't forget this one and this one. Okay, Darian, you cannot one. keep all the ducklings. Actually, all these ones we're selling. Aww. Maybe we could keep one special one. This is my even specialist. Dotty. Dotty. <laughs> We just went to the Boone Rodeo, and now uh, my husband wants to be a cowboy. Or I don't know, my husband wants. Wow, that was pretty good. Our son Darian, he is the one that wants to. He wants to rope, and he wants to get on Cisco, our little pony, and ride him. Well, I encourage that. Oh, yeah, he's gonna try. Are you gonna try to rope? Yeah, we have no clue how to do this. We're gonna watch some YouTube videos on it. Yeah. Oh, you... She got herself. <laughs> she got herself. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna sex some ducklings today. And this is currently where I have my ducklings. Oftentimes I can brood them outside because of the temperatures are so nice. You still need to keep them warm and dry is the hugest thing. I just keep this off the ground suspended a little bit and I need to put more. What I'll do is I'll just put bedding on top of the bedding that's in there so that they can have some um, thick layer of bedding. But they grow so fast that they'll be ready uh, come winter time. Uh, Let's bucket of duckies. All right, so I'm going to show you how to sex these guys. So I'm going to do a, a few examples. And I just wanted to show you some of the parents and the young growers. And I like to mix colors. So I take, I've taken from the hatcheries and mix their colors. I think that gives them a little bit of hybrid vigor too, just because they've often focused so much on color. And so it kind of steps out of that zone. What do we have here? We have a black ducky. And it's going to be black and white. And this one's a blue. This one's a silver. Maybe silver and white. This one. I'm sure my son would name it Spot. It's a chocolate and white. Let's see what else we have here. Um, this one's an emery penciled and white with runner pattern. They are so sweet. That's a chocolate. There's a little blue and white. Oh, she's small or he. Oh, it's a she. I know it's a she already all because I, I banded the girls, but I'm gonna show you how to sex them right now. Careful. Careful. Oh, put them back in there. Yuck, it just pooped, Nayeli. I don't want it out of the bucket. I clean it. You're gonna clean it? Uh, that's not gonna clean the floor very well. Nope, that's not gonna do it. Okay, the first thing you wanna do is get the proper position to hold your duck. You want your, thumb, your, your finger underneath the base of the tail and you want to let its legs spread and you want to position your thumbs together and then push down and spread apart. 
See, this is a boy. You can see his little penis right there. It's right there. It looks like a little worm, a little maggot. Okay. Now, I already know this is a girl because I've already sexed them, but um, again, finger right here, underneath the tail, kind of supports it, spread, and you see, let's move the fur, the feathers, there is no little maggot. You can see her little spot right there is where the penis enters and the top spot is where her poop comes out. This thing when I was... You're still going? Mm -hmm. All right. Sometimes you have to spread and wiggle it around a little bit. So, um, and don't push on the belly because that can just, that can really hurt its tummy. But do you see it? There's a boy. It's a little penis right there. Okay. I'm afraid to. All right. And this little girl. You see the the bottom part and the top. Okay, again. Okay, see that it's a boy. You can see his little penis. Girl. All right. This is the other structure that we use. It's just chicken wire and boards that's and it well and, and nails and staples um, and we we brewed outside in the summer probably from June until probably September and they're all chatty right now because night is falling they're pretty chatty right now aren't they Darian yep and oftentimes depending you know Kalina is pretty good at keeping predators away and and there is cracks in the bottom in the t in the bottom of this container and sometimes I just set it over the top top of them and that they have enough oxygen in there to be just fine and I haven't lost a single one watching guys on an end note the ducks really aren't that loud kids are worse my ducks were loud because there's so many and they're all together a little flock is not the next videos I've planned are sweet potatoes basil some mushroom hunting well not actually hunting because it is growing in my yard but yeah you'll enjoy